Hi, and welcome back to Sask Music's Indigenous History Month interview series. My name is LJ Tyson, and I am so happy to be joined today by Melody Gleam from Gleam. And Melody, right before we start, I want to say, I just tell the audience a little break the fourth wall here. We just had a bunch of audio issues. Yeah. <laughs> so for anyone that's here, uh, you know, we're, we're just like, we've decided we're not tech, uh, tech, technical people with the internet. Yeah. Oh, not at all. Not at all. I mean, with stuff like this, I just, it's over my head. I really have to study it. And even then, I, it's like I get it backwards or something, you know, it, it takes me a while. With that, all that being said, usually when I'm in a situation like that with someone, we're just like both panicking. You have such a calming presence about you. And um, yeah. like, what, what? How I don't want to say like how are you like that, but I mean is that something that you're conscious of, or is that just who you are as a person? It's not. This is just water. It's nothing. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You know what's weird about me? I'm kind of actually really shy, and I, I don't know. I just I don't know. I I love people, but I'm also shy. On the other hand, I don't know why it's calming. <laughs> I have no idea. I I mean, how could you say that, right? Like, where you get that from? Right, right. Does your shyness come across on stage? Is that part of your performance? Or are you more kind of out there and outgoing? Because I know for me personally, like I, I'm more of a laid back kind of shy type person too. But then for some reason when I'm on stage, I just, I open up. And then so people are very surprised when they talk to me one on one, because they're like, Oh, that's not who I see on stage. Or are you kind of the same way? I'm the same way. Absolutely. Because I mean, even now when I go on stage, I'll get butterflies all day. Like I'm just so nervous. But once I get up there, it's like I feel like I'm at home. Like I feel like myself, you know. Right. That's the most, um, I don't know what word to use, um, authentic I feel is what I'm singing, writing, performing, that kind of thing. Tell us a little bit about Gleam, like as a band. Like what's the sound? What's the vibe? Like what's the goal, you know? Um, I really feel that my singing, I've been doing it my whole life. But I didn't get into a band until later on because of the shyness, right? I actually ended up taking singing lessons just to get used to that. And going back to when I was a kid, I used to literally stand in front of the mirror and sing, you know, do that whole karaoke thing, imagining that I was fronting a rock band, right? And then it, it just happened to be, it ended up being that way. I don't have like a screaming voice or anything, but I'm really drawn to rock. Like, I love rock music. Who are some um, of your influences in rock music? I love uh, female-fronted bands like uh, Heart. I love Heart. Um, you know, Joni Mitchell was a huge um, front woman for a band. I just love all the... I, I'm trying to think of some bands. Um, Toronto, you know that band? Yeah, all great the, one. Amazing voice. You know, bands like that, I just always thought, wow, this chick is rocking. I just, I always wanted to be like that, you know? And I can use that on stage, like in my personal life. Like I said, I'm kind of shy, but when I get up there, I'm okay. Being in a band makes it, I find, like a lot easier to channel those nerves because you have other people to lean on. Who uh, yeah. who makes up your band? Who are your bandmates? Uh, actually, my husband. Nice. Right now, and me are working on a duo. We have played with other people before. And, you know, when COVID hit, it's kind of like we're almost forced to just do our own thing. So that's my husband, Brian Ostroka, on lead guitar. And then I, I'm the main songwriter. And we've just been recording videos and recording our own music for now, you know, until I would like to be in a band again, though. <laughs> that's pretty What's exciting. your songwriting process like? Um... Basically, I usually just start with a rhythm, and I'll just start singing something over it, right? And usually, more than often, the first instinct is the best, you know what I mean? And I just I just keep singing, and usually it's a bunch of babbling, though, over it, like, it doesn't even make sense, it's a bunch of words like da-da-da-da-da, you know? Yeah. But um, then I can kind of decipher it after. And that's usually how I do it. I'll usually start with guitar, piano, and voice at the same time. What's your favorite song you've put out into the world so far? Well, Hard question, no. Um, 
Oh, that's a tough one. I think actually one that I have coming up is one of my favorites. It hasn't been released, but I did play it at the Women in Music SAS um, networking night just to try it out. And it's called um, A Strange Twist of Fate. And it's, I'm not even quite sure what it's about, but I think it's being drawn to things maybe that aren't good for you and then trying to realize to get that out of your life. Because it says, when you love what you hate, it's a strange twist of fate, right? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's one of my favorite. And the beat of it is almost like you could do a Charleston dance to it. I just, I really like it. I okay. really like, I love the sound of that. <laughs> I need to hear this. <laughs> Like, I love dancing, right? So when it's playing, I'm sitting there by myself going, like, doing the Charleston. Yeah. Can you uh, play, I, can you play us, like, uh, the chorus or something right now? Um, I would love to, but it has a capo way up there. I could run and get a capo. <laughs> <laughs> all good, all good. We'll, we'll wait for the track to come out or hear you live and do it. I, I'm looking forward to it. Basically, this is down a lot of frets, but it starts off... That's the beat, right? So it's nice. Like, yeah, it is very. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that kind of that kind of vibe, anyways. And um, the chorus is kind of funny because for some strange reason reason I had in my head that it sounded like ACDC. Right. <laughs> but it really doesn't. It was just like the vibe of it, right? So because I'm kind of it's kind of saying, "Hey, hello, let it go," like yeah. whatever that stuff is that you don't need in your life, let it go. It's kind of an anthem, right? Right. So this is a, um, um, I want to say a personal question, but a kind of a personal question to some people. Like, um, I know I um, proudly identify as Cree and Métis in my music when I'm performing live. Like, identity has always been super important to me. Um, and I know you have a, an indig Indigenous ancestry. What's your yeah. background, if you don't mind me asking? My background, well, my mom grew up on Gordon's Reserve. And she, her maiden name is Bird, so I'm related to a lot of the birds. And I was actually considering changing my name to Melody Gleam Bird, like adding both of the names, because I thought, well, Bird has to do with music, right? The singer. Yeah. Um, my grandparents were out there, and I used to spend a lot of time when I was a kid out on the res. And since then, my, my I'm not to, to get dark, but my parents and my grandma and grandpa I've passed on, right? But those are some really pretty cool times in my life, you know? And I kind of draw from there. And I'm really um, connected. Like, I love nature. I'll be hanging out in nature 24 hours a day. And I take a lot of metaphors from that for my music, like the sun or the, the moon or just some kind of animal, like a cricket or something. I'll just throw that in a song. I totally off from the question. <laughs> yeah, no, that was actually going to be my next question. Is like, okay. um, do you do you draw inspiration from you know, um, the experiences of an indigenous person? Like, I I am on this whole writing thing right now about you know who I am as a, as a person as as a member of like uh, the queer community in Saskatchewan who also happens to be an indigenous person living in Saskatchewan because it is you know and I'm so intrigued by. Um, like someone from like yourself from Southern Saskatchewan who has ties to Gordon, like you said, you know, like, because of what a lot of people don't realize is that as indigenous people, all of our experiences are so different, right? Like a Northern Cree person is not going to have the same experiences as a Southern Cree person or, you know, a Dene person from far North. Like I'm always so intrigued. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy to hear that you're drawing inspiration from, um, from that that's that's I'm I'm excited to hear more of your music is what I'm trying to say <laughs> definitely I I really do I mean like I said not to get on the dark part but I do write about my parents a lot because they've been passed on from this world for quite a while but um I just think I just would hope that they're proud of me you know for what I'm doing with music and yeah so I do draw from that for sure it's grabbing from more like from the past memories you know that kind of thing where would you like to see yourself musically in, let's say, let's go, let's, let's say two years. Two years. Um, 
Well, like I said, I feel music's a calling for me, whatever form that may take. I'm always going to do it. Um, but I would like to sing. I love singing to people. Like when I get on stage, I just feel like, wow, this is so cool. You know, this is what I meant to do. <laughs> so I would like to perform more at festivals or whatever and release more music. Do you have any cool gigs coming up? Uh, no gigs right now. Just um, doing music videos and recording three songs right now. That's the fun stuff to me. I love like the creative process, like getting up there and doing everything on stage. That's great too. But like the actual, like sitting in a studio or just sitting with a book and writing and then especially music videos. I've gotten, I've been lucky enough to do a couple of those. And and that's just such a, it, it's hard not to, it's hard not to feel like you're living like a, a childhood dream, right? Exactly. No, when you're in that creative process, like I said, like that's when I feel the most like myself. And it doesn't matter if I'm, I mean, I love singing to people, but it doesn't matter if there's tons of people around or just me, like I'm always focusing on it. And that's when I'm the happiest. You know what I mean? 100%. I, yeah. No, I'm on the exact same vibe as you. Like I said, you're such a pleasant person to talk to. <laughs> Not that I've like talking talked to a bunch of unpleasant people, but you do have this very calming calming presence about you and I and I and I think that'll um come across in your music and like I said I'm just really looking forward to uh to hearing your new stuff that you put out is there uh anything you wanted to add that um our viewers should know about yourself um, about me well I mean like I said since um COVID and everything was going on I started playing drums for our music so that's really fun for me I love playing drums. Like, I just love it. Hand drums, the whole kit, whatever. I just, I'm so excited when I'm doing that. <laughs> so, I mean, I've always played instruments by ear. So it doesn't matter what it is. I'll just pick it up and start playing it. Even when I was a kid, I, I picked up my sister's violin and just started playing it. I was really little. I had no idea. I just always have had that. And I kind of feel it's a gift. You know what I mean? 100%, yeah. And we will make note and comment of your gigantic cup there. <laughs> I'm just obsessed with it. I, I, I need one of those. There's just water, guys. There's just water in here, but it says, catch me by the sea. I love that. I mean, I love just... it right away, right? It's got the, the turtles and stuff on it. You I, need to I'm bring so it up on stage with you. That needs to be a stage thing. I know, it's hilarious. Hey? It's just so huge. Yeah. It's like yeah. I could be drinking out of this thing for a week and a half. You know what I mean? <laughs> At least a week. Yeah. <laughs> At least. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Melody. I encourage everyone to go uh, follow Melody uh, Gleam on social medias. Do you have a website people can check out yet? Um, I usually just use Re Reverb Nation or YouTube, but if you just go to at Gleam Music, which is G L I E M Music, you'll find like a bunch of sites. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you. You want to uh, leave us with a little, like maybe half of a song as we, uh, as the, we do our little outro here. Um, Whatever you got. Sorry to put you on the spot. No, it's okay. I'll just play a little bit of picking parts of one of the very first songs I wrote. Awesome. I like it. That was one of the first songs I wrote. I, I didn't know what I was doing. I lived with a, a roommate and she had a guitar and I thought if she can play, pick that up and play it, so can I. So I just wrote a couple of songs. It's like, I can do that? It's, yeah, very strange. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> super natural. Like even like the picking of it, I, I love it. I encourage everyone 100%. Once again, go check out uh, Gleam their music and uh yeah i'm just excited i hope we see we get to play a show together sometime soon that would be awesome yes yes, yes definitely give me a shout or something yeah i would love to do that really awesome thank you so much i appreciate you taking time <laughs>